Okay, so this is for Poggio. So, this is first point and click adventure. I noticed that a lot of the textures were set to transparency, and when I looked at the actor, you could see through his arm and see his insides and stuff. So that I went ahead and fixed that first. And then um, I noticed that his breastplate was uh, not correctly weight painted. So uh, it was just kind of floating with him and moving with him, but it wasn't uh, attached to his chest. So I fixed that. There's still some other work that needs to be done. A little bit of slimming. But um, yeah, now I can actually start to add code to it. So as you can see, we have the uh, walking physics actor, and he goes upstairs if his walk animation is correct. But if his walk animation is normal and not a walk upstairs animation, it won't work right because his toes will hit the stair face. So uh, what we have to do is make it so it plays a different animation when he gets to the stairs. So, I'm going to grab his root core, and we'll add the logic to that inside of this game logic simple. So, somewhere in here, I have cont.activate, okay, walk. So, we just do... All right, so here's where it decides what animation to play. So we're going to do array. First, I'll do the endpoint of the array. Alright, so we want to cast the uh, ray down from about right here and down. So I'm just going to uh, add an empty and move it out there and see how far I need it. It looks like about 2... Yeah, 1.75 should be good. So I'm just going to delete the empty. And so the y-axis is column 1, negative 1.75. So, oh, this is actually start and the end will be so we'll take this and then remove the dot column do times vector and it'll be zero on the X negative 1.75 on the Y and then let's see how far down it'll have to go I'm gonna add another empty So it looks like about negative 4. So I'm going to delete the empty. Oh. It looks like it undid a bunch of stuff over here. I don't like that. They need to fix that. So if I do undo here, for some reason it undoes in the Python window. And you can lose a lot of work really fast that way. And it sucks. And there's not really any way to safeguard against it if you're moving back and forth between windows other than saving.
All right, so that should cast array. This should be a good endpoint for array that runs down like this in front of him. Um, we could also do another ray that's from the player out forward to the stair casting ray. And if this ray hits something, then don't even mess with the stairs because that means you got a wall in front of you. So you could play like a hey, I'm up against the wall animation or not do anything. So. Raycast, and then end, start, zero past, that's the, di this zero right here is the distance past the endpoint, and we're looking for any property, and uh, we don't need x-ray, oh wait, no, this is the orientation of the normals, there's a normal switch in the properties, this is x-ray, we don't need that, and we don't need the hit poly. So we just put zero on the end there too. And hit poly only works on triangle mesh anyway, so it's not really that useful. So now we have the ray. We're gonna do if ray zero, if, hmm. So we're gonna need to measure the distance from the hit point to the start casting point. So. We know it's start, so start v here. We're gonna call this hit diff equals start minus. Wait, no, start plus. No, start minus ray one, which is the hit point. So we're subtracting the hit point from the start value. And then dist equals hit diff dot magnitude. So this should be the distance from here to here. So we're going to go ahead and set a property for debugging called distance. Make this a little bigger so I could see. So most of the letters are worn off of my keyboard, so it makes it a little tricky. And uh, the home row on this is a little bit, not even very bumpy, so I get a little lost when I'm looking at the screen. Okay. So for now, we just want to see if I'm going to throw an error and if this value is going to show up correctly. Okay, it didn't. We're throwing an error somewhere. Ah. Right. Here. And then also I'm going to need to import vector. from math utils import vector so okay it's working and distance is zero I'm just gonna go ahead and do a draw line so we could see what's happening Ah, I'm in the wrong place, I guess. No? Alright, is it even triggering my code? Nope.
Okay. All right, so now it's working. You can see the ray, and you can see that distance there that we're getting. So it looks like a normal walking plane is about 3.8. So, oh, don't know what just happened there. Now we can add an if statement, if dist is less than, let's say, 3.75. So this is where the stair walk will be. And this is where walk downstairs will be. And we're going to have to lengthen this ray just a bit. And then if neither of those two conditions are true, we know it's walk on a normal plane. So now we need another action here. Um, I think walk two. And I think that that ends at 39. All right. So this is going to be the upstairs one. And now we're going to have to deactivate that if when we're in idle. Okay. Let's see what happens when he gets to the stairs. He should switch animations when he gets to the steps, hopefully. He's not. Ah, I see. I think. I'm going to need to do this. Yep, there we go. So it's working. It still needs a little work, though, but the system itself is working.
Okay. So now I need to add in the walk downstairs switch and all that, but um, it's getting pretty close to when I have to go do some other stuff. So that's all for now.